Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that could save you thousands of dollars, avoiding financial scams. You might be thinking, I'm far too clever to fall for that nonsense. And while I applaud your confidence, the truth is, scammers are getting more sophisticated every day, so it's important to stay informed. That's why I'm arming you with the knowledge to spot these schemes from a mile away, so you can protect your hard-earned cash. Stick with me until the end to discover the top 10 ways to identify and avoid financial scams. Pro tip, I've saved the best for last. Buckle up, this is going to be a wild ride. Let's start with the first sign of a financial scam. Unsolicited offers. If someone contacts you out of the blue with a deal that sounds too good to be true, that's a red flag. Just like if a random person approaches you on the street and offers you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to invest in their revolutionary new business venture, you run. You run away very fast. The same principle applies in the digital world. The internet is a vast space filled with both opportunities and pitfalls. It's easy to get lured by flashy ads and enticing offers. Unsolicited emails, phone calls, or social media messages promising you the sun, the moon, and a free lifetime supply of avocado toast are usually too good to be true. These messages often come with a sense of urgency, pressuring you to act quickly without thinking. It's like finding a $20 bill on the ground. Sure, it's exciting at first, but then you start looking around for the hidden cameras. Always question the source and the intent behind such offers. Remember, legitimate businesses don't operate by cold-calling unsuspecting individuals with offers that sound like they were concocted during a late-night infomercial binge. They have established channels and methods for reaching out to potential customers. If it smells fishy, it probably is, and not the good kind of fishy like a delicious plate of fish and chips. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it likely is. So, next time you receive an email with the subject line, Congratulations, you've won a free cruise to the Bahamas, or any other extravagant prize, take a moment to think. Just remember, you probably haven't. It's better to be safe and skeptical than to fall victim to a scam. Always verify the legitimacy of any offer before taking action. Stay informed, stay cautious, and protect yourself from unsolicited offers. Second on my list is always verify the source. Before you send money or give personal information, research the company or individual. Google them, check for reviews, and verify their credentials. Scammers often use fake company names or create websites that look real but are missing key details like contact info. If you can't find any trustworthy information, that's a warning sign. Before you start envisioning yourself swimming in a pool of gold coins like Scrooge McDuck, take a moment to verify the source. This step is crucial and can save you from potential scams and disappointments. In the age of the internet, anyone with a Wi-Fi connection and a rudimentary understanding of website design can create a professional-looking online presence. This means that not everything that glitters is gold. Don't be fooled by fancy logos, testimonials that read like they were written by the same person who wrote the website copy, or stock photos of people who look way too happy to be working in an office. These are often red flags that something might not be right. Do your research. Take the time to dig a little deeper. Check if the company is registered. This can often be done through official government websites or business directories. A legitimate business will have nothing to hide. Look for reviews from reputable sources. Websites like Trustpilot, Better Business Bureau, and even Google Reviews can provide insights into the experiences of other customers. And for goodness sake, make sure their website's URL doesn't end in .scam. While this might seem obvious, it's surprising how many people overlook this simple detail. Remember, a little bit of skepticism can go a long way. It's better to be safe than sorry. Trust your instincts and always double-check the information before making any decisions. Your future self will thank you. Number 3. Watch for pressure tactics. Scammers often use pressure tactics to get you to act fast. They might say, you need to invest now or lose the opportunity, or claim that the deal is only available for a limited time. Or you get a call from someone claiming to be from your bank. They tell you your account has been compromised, and you need to act fast to prevent further damage. They're speaking quickly, using a lot of jargon, and generally creating an atmosphere of panic and confusion. This, my friends, is a classic pressure tactic. Scammers know that when we're stressed and rushed, we're more likely to make irrational decisions. Legitimate businesses, on the other hand, understand that important decisions take time and consideration. So if you ever find yourself on the receiving end of a high-pressure sales pitch or a frantic phone call demanding immediate action, Take a deep breath and remember the golden rule of scam prevention. If it feels wrong, it probably is. Number four, 
check for red flags in emails and websites. Scammers might send emails with bad grammar, misspelled words, or strange formatting. Also, double-check the URLs of websites. Scammers often use web addresses that look almost identical to real ones. You know those emails you get that are riddled with grammatical errors, typos, and formatting that looks like a ransom note, assembled from different magazine clippings. They often come with a sense of urgency, asking you to click on a link or provide personal information immediately. These emails are designed to trick you into thinking they're from legitimate sources, but the errors are a dead giveaway. Yeah, those are usually not from your bank. Real institutions take the time to ensure their communications are professional and error-free. They have teams dedicated to proofreading and maintaining a high standard of quality. So when you see an email that looks off, trust your instincts. Scammers often aren't exactly known for their attention to detail, which is ironic considering they're trying to steal yours. They rely on the fact that some people won't notice the mistakes or will be too rushed to care. But taking a moment to scrutinize these details can save you a lot of trouble. They'll often use poorly translated text, misspelled words, and awkward phrasing that should set off alarm bells in your head. These are clear indicators that the email is not from a reputable source. Always be skeptical of unsolicited emails asking for personal information. The same goes for websites. Just like emails, fraudulent websites often have telltale signs that something is not right. They might look convincing at first glance, but a closer look reveals the truth. Look out for blurry logos, broken links, and URLs that look like they were generated by a cat walking across a keyboard. These are red flags that the website is not legitimate. A trustworthy site will have a clean, professional appearance and functional links. Think of it this way. If a company can't even be bothered to hire a competent proofreader or web designer, how seriously do you think they're taking your security and privacy? Your personal information is valuable, and you should only trust it with entities that show they care about their presentation and your safety. Always double-check and stay vigilant. Number 5. Be skeptical of unrealistic promises. This is a big one. Unrealistic promises. If someone guarantees sky-high returns with zero risk, run the other way. If someone is promising you guaranteed returns, overnight riches, or a foolproof system for beating the stock market, they're either delusional, lying, or both. Remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch, especially in the world of finance. Legitimate investments take time, research, and a certain amount of risk. So, the next time you come across an investment opportunity that promises to turn your spare change into a mountain of cash, remember the wise words of every skeptical grandmother ever. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Number 6. Check for proper licensing. Before you hand over your money, make sure the company or individual is licensed. You know how your doctor has that fancy certificate on the wall with their qualifications? Well, in the world of finance, licenses and registrations are like those certificates. They show that a person or company is legally allowed to handle your money. Before you hand over your hard-earned cash to any financial advisor, broker, or investment firm, take a moment to verify their credentials. It's as simple as checking a website or making a phone call. Think of it this way. You wouldn't let just anyone perform surgery on you, would you? You'd want a qualified professional with a proper training and experience. The same principle applies to your finances. Next, protect your personal information. If someone asks for your social security number, bank details, or credit card information right away, that's a huge red flag. Listen, I get it. We live in a world where we share everything online, from our breakfast choices to our deepest fears. But when it comes to your personal information, it's time to put on your best poker face and channel your inner secret agent. Scammers are always on the lookout for unsuspecting individuals willing to hand over their social security numbers, credit card details, and mother's maiden names. So be extremely cautious about who you share your personal information with. And if someone you don't know asks for your personal information, politely tell them to take a hike. Number 8. Check for customer reviews and testimonials. Customer reviews can give you great insight into whether a company or product is legit. But beware, scammers can create fake reviews too. Sites like Trustpilot or the Better Business Bureau can also provide reliable feedback. Before you invest your money in anything, take some time to read reviews from reputable sources. Look for patterns in the feedback. And here's a pro tip. Be wary of reviews that sound overly positive or too good to be true. Number 9. Don't fall for celebrity endorsements. Scammers often use celebrity endorsements, real or fake, to get your trust. Just because you see a famous person's face on an investment or product doesn't mean it's legitimate. Many celebrities have come forward saying their names were used without permission. Always research thoroughly no matter who's promoting it. 
Scammers often use fake celebrity endorsements to try and lend credibility to their schemes. They know that people are more likely to trust a product or service if it's associated with a famous face. But just because a celebrity is getting paid to say something nice about a product doesn't mean it's actually any good. Do your research, read the fine print, and remember that even celebrities can be wrong. Last but not least, the best tip of all, trust your gut. If something feels off or too good to be true, it probably is. Listen to your instincts and don't be afraid to walk away from deals that make you uncomfortable. Scammers thrive on pressure and confusion, so stepping back to assess the situation is often your best defense. You know that feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when something just feels off. That's your intuition, and it's usually right. When it comes to financial decisions, your gut instinct can be your best defense against scams. If something feels too good to be true, it probably is. If a deal makes you uncomfortable, walk away. And if you have any doubts about a person or company, trust your instincts and steer clear. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. These, my friends, are the 10 ways to spot and dodge financial scams like a pro. Share this video with your friends, family, and that weird neighbor. Let's work together to create a world where scammers are forced to get real jobs like the rest of us. If you follow these tips, you'll be way ahead of most people when it comes to spotting a scam before it costs you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tips on how to protect your money and grow your wealth. And if you've ever encountered a financial scam, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your story. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay one step ahead of the scammers.